That's the Japanese Hulk Hogan? Nani? Wow, Aaron Ryan's almost as bad as a gorilla. Generic control in the duck goose. We're here back with some more Bumbles McBumbles. Today we are doing which punch up boxer is the biggest cheater. Two. Last week we did the very first one. You want to check out my reaction to that? I'll leave it right up there. Also link down below in the description, and it will not be in the playlist on my channel because I've only been doing this is my third Bumbles McBumbles videos. He makes really good content, honestly, and I mean I was actually really surprised to see that he has like 68,000 subscribers. Not that much more than me, and I do not feel like that is justified. I feel like he deserves way more he definitely deserves a silver play button speaking of silver pay play buttons my buddy wrath right over here well well his new channel is wrath 2501 or that's his old channel but now he's uploading on the new channel again because it got remonetized which is really weird but he finally hit a hundred thousand subscribers which is a huge milestone i'm really proud of him and it's really awesome to see that but bumbles mcbumbles definitely deserves way more credit than he gets he's the top link down below in the description is going to be um the link to the original video also shout out to the patrons they give you this day early long to not have a paywall on channel and i read every single comments and you all were asking me to do the second one v like you all wanted it so bad i've never played punch out learned a lot about it in the last video is very informational i actually know i didn't know some of those boxy rules so it was actually really good to watch that video and learn and react to that as well but i really enjoyed that video i don't know why this one has way less views maybe it's because of donkey kong i don't know what donkey kong has to do with it but i think it's going to be a good video and you all are very excited for it so thank you for being here but let's go ahead and jump into which is the biggest cheater two okay you all wanted the second one you all showed so much support for the first one so thank you so much also show bumble mcfumble some loves because like bumble mcfumble some loves yeah we love that fun of my career it's time for round two ladies and gentlemen <laughs> That is easy fun. The punch up video has blown me he does away, a way more subscribers. At time of recording, like, way the video has cracked one million views and still climbing. Not only is the video had a big effect like on me as a creator, it's apparently also had an effect on the punch out fandom. But seriously, if you check out the punch out wiki, now every fighter that I covered has a section about the rules. There's a rule. I wondered Jesus. if it was me, but then I saw that they used the word infraction and knew it was me. I used that word about 100 trillion times in the last one, so yep. it couldn't be anyone else. Well, today we're changing some hearts, minds, and most importantly, Wikipedia That's fair. articles, because we're stepping back into the squared circle to take a look at more of Punch Out's boxing. Uh, isn't there like another YouTube boxing match coming up soon? The current and defending champion, Aaron Ryan. It's going to be a long road, certainly, but the fighters we have lined That's up look clown. like they're more than good enough competition. I don't know who that is. Who I seem to have forgotten That's in the a last wrestler. Video, so I can't seem to place my finger on who exactly. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong! So to start off, I feel it's important what? to quell or address points brought up by others accent? about the past video. First and most commonly was Great Tiger's head covering being a religious headpiece and therefore protected, and they'd be right to say as such. A turban is often worn by Shia Muslims, and with the rules regarding women's boxers wearing full body coverings and hijabs, I'm willing to let Great Tiger go on this one. It's uh, not like okay. he doesn't have eight other rules he's breaking, he's not going to be hurting my losing yeah. one. I wouldn't want to make a ruling that God himself wouldn't agree with me on. Another common one was the use of a backhanded strike in the ring. It is indeed illegal to backhand, as well as illegal to attack with an ear clapping move. For that reason, ear clap. Oh, yeah. Fractions. King Hippo claps the ears in both his Hippo Squash and Squash and Slam. Bear Hugger's Bear Hug is quite literally just an ear clap. Great Tiger smacks literally. the side of his hands when he does the Mirage Dance, as well Don Flamenco gets one for his backhanded slap. Yeah, you can't backhand. It's also brought up that Mr. Sandman did have an infraction, as he uses an overhand punch in his fight. Actually, not oh, only are overhand he... punches legal, but they're an important part of boxing, only to be used when you have a height advantage over your opponent. Everybody has a height advantage over you. So Mr. Sandman's punch is clean. Yeah, because then when it's stall. illegal, however, to hit your opponent with the side of your hand, which is exactly what I call these. So that's one extra point for Von Kaiser, three for Hippo, one for Bear Hugger, two Great Tiger, one for Don Flamenco, and one more for Super Macho Man. Still putting none of them They're within all the distance of Aaron, but that's what the new crop of fighters is for. He is. What? Video cards? Except I, not all I have fighters video are created video cards. See, See, Mario is a referee. Me, a lot of these fighters don't. See, this is do a game that I was wrong. Kids that's Mike Quake, Tyson, Piston, isn't it? Hurricane, Mr. Dream, Mike Tyson, and Pizza Pasta are all too boring to be considered for the list, since they're just box standard boxers. I know Pizza oh, Pasta is someone that a lot of people wanted me to talk about, but trust me, the only interesting thing about him is his name. Also, if I start judging real world boxer Mike Tyson, I'm afraid he's gonna come to my house and perform amateur brain surgery on me with his fists. My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I want your heart, I want to eat his children. I ain't just He's really cool those now. Guys, everyone else from the arcade games and NES game has already been Mike covered. Tyson. Though. Now all that's left she is, she dude, him. is Super Punch Out. Categorically, nobody's Super favorite Punch Out game. 1994, so before I was born. Is that almost every fighter has their coach shouting instructions to them in the ring, ranging from Punch Good to Here's a knife, get him. I'll be including in his eye. examples of outside coaching in their score. The first boxer in which Wait, being outside glass coaching? Protege Gabby J. 
just like Joe, he seems too pathetic to be hiding any nefarious tactics, and in all fairness, he isn't. He's wearing his cheating all over his body. See, in boxing, what is it? to avoid watching two grandpas fight like a blown call at a Little League game, there are age limits on when you can box up until. Most major organizations really? place that somewhere around 40. After that, you leave any age well, bracket free and you can't fight going. at such a high level. Gabby J is 16 years on from when his last fight should have been. 16 years of fighting So he's like prime. 56? Only ever losing, along with the ravages of time, mean that Gabby J will be lucky if he ever walks again. This man is trying to speedrun dementia like he's playing everywhere at the end of time at 20 times speed. Other than that, he's That's fine, fair. but somebody needs to trank this geezer before he tries to come out to the ring with an oxygen tank. After the skippable bear hugger, oh, Mr. there's this guy. And bald bull, oh. It's time to infringe on some copyright with we Bob know Charlie. Too. Just do as little as possible to hide it. Is it's that supposed to be Bob Marley? Yeah, it Legally. is. So as you can very clearly see, he's got a headband, and what's good for the Honda is good for the Charlie, and he's already got one infraction. <sighs> Something interesting. Oh, what that was that saying? Is so long, he's at risk of blinding himself and potentially getting it ripped out from the roots. Overall, that leaves Charlie with two different rule breaks. I'm kind of the first one since I doubt they'd let him fight like that for his own safety. Also, with copyright the infringement isn't counted since they're not going to have court proceedings in the ring, so it's outside my jurisdiction. Moving on to quite possibly oh, the most famous Bob Marley. Out, Dragon Chan is most famous for being the example I brought up last time to is bring up how much Bruce cheating Lee? there is. So, let's get it out of the way. First off, jumping is technically not illegal. It's dumb as hell, but it's not illegal. However, yeah, jumping onto the ropes is super illegal. Very I don't illegal. I to tell you that. But then there's the kick itself. Kickboxing exists. And even there, you can't do this. Apparently, this might as well chess be boxing the thing. I have no idea what it is, but I kind of yeah, you obviously that. can't kick in a boxing match. That's the whole point. On top of that, he performs the kick in two unique instances: once by simply kicking, and then by doing his jump kick. But not just the kick is illegal, though, as his pants reach down below his knees, his shoes aren't regulation boxing boots, and while the belt does provide a line of demarcation, it in and of itself is an unnecessary accessory and is therefore illegal. <laughs> Given the fact that he has experience as a kickboxer, the question kick. is to ask why Great he felt kick. the need to drop the kick part and try straight up boxing. Up next is the boxer I was most excited to cover when we got to see punch enough. out, and that's masked muscle. Masked from muscle. Mexico, he's the second boxer thus far to bring an outside fighting style to boxing. Uh, the pants and are too this long. one is even less of a fit than the last one. Also, At least that's that a head one covering had the word boxing mask. in the title. Pro wrestling is about as far from boxing as you can get. So before we get to his moves, I don't actually know eh. what to do about one of his infractions. Did he just spit? His mask is obviously a head covering, his wrestling tights extend into his boots, and then there are his knee pads. Technically, he's already <laughs> covering his knees with his tights, but man, he it feels like pads. this is even more of a cheat than usual. I'm willing to count this as doubling up, like the ref would ask them to take off his knee pads, see the pants and underneath, and just give up. Also, I'm willing to up. bet that his boots aren't boxing boots, but wrestling boots. See, wrestling yeah, boots for are sure. designed for the more dogged and flexible style of wrestling, what? rather than the stance based what? on the What? 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 using wrestling boots, he has a better what is this show rated? boxers. On top of that, those tights he's wearing have no clear line of demarcation for the waist, and as such are another illegal part. I'm uncomfortable. Oh yeah, he also spits in your eyes and headbutts you. However, this is yep, no ordinary spit. As was common in Japanese wrestling, I'd say that this is closer to Dokugiri or Poison Mist. Yeah, in huh? Japan, sometimes they just breathe poison onto each other when they're wrestling. What? The Japanese equivalents to Hulk Hogan, Keiji That's Muto, so gross. used it whenever he warped into his demon alter ego, the Great That's Muta. the Japanese also, Hulk the Hogan? Gave it different elemental properties. Green was poison, red was burning, cool, black actually. was blinding. Man, wrestling's way cooler than boxing. What am I doing? So, yeah, if this actually is poison, Fair mist, the blue enough. color would give it the blinding effect. See, when you spit into somebody's eyes, they don't see in mode 7. So that's a rule break for the Mode spinning, seven. bringing in a foreign substance, and by using that foreign substance. But then there's the headbutt, which seems almost pedantic given what we just discussed. All things considered, and what's a headbutt when you spit in their eyes? Spit in your eyes, that gives masked muscle nine infractions. Still nine. by Ryan, but Pretty an bad. admirable effort nonetheless. Up next yeah. is ah, 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 ah. Aaron Ryan again. Several girly man this game later. Oh my God, why does he look like that? Ryan on his home turf and. No headbutts, no elbows, no He's boxing gloves on string. I don't believe it, but Aaron Ryan isn't cheating. All of Wait, his moves, all of his movements, everything ugly. is perfectly up to board. Uh, but maybe you could get him on grabbing Little Mac, right? Well, you, no, that's a you can grab. It's a common yeah. move in boxing. It's the reason that Mayweather versus Pacquiao is one of the worst fights ever. I genuinely never thought I'd say this, uh, but Aaron's clean. Completely. This makes you have to ask, though. In the past. What in the hell happened between this game Drugs. and we determined to a headbutt murdering psychopath? What grudge <laughs> the Canadians and the Irish have? Hiki Kagero is next, and with him are what? a couple of really weird rules. I, First is and this, foremost is, is his face paint. 
Kind of weird, I yeah. know, but for the same reason you can't have perfume with Don Flamenco, that face paint could be a grease-based paint and as such would make it easier for Blows to slip off his face. Isn't that why they use Vaseline, face though? About what's on top of it. It's clear that he they keeps put Vaseline on their faces in fights. However, it's even longer than they do that at boxing, right? And as a result, it's much more likely to be told off by the rep that he either needs to cut it or get into some sort of break. Long if hair just definitely gets it, in the, the rep way. will definitely be getting the cutting shears when he sees him use his hair as a whip to smack Little Mac in the face once again taken from pro wrestling. So he's literally using a part of his body as a foreign object. While long hair in and of is itself really isn't a foreign exactly object? legal, this would certainly set the precedent that it is. Other than that, also, <laughs> yeah, except for, oh yeah, the f***ing teleporting. Now, you may be tempted to say that is this that is just fancy that? footwork with the fact that he's a dancer. Well, let me tell you, this is fancy footwork, this is teleportation. I'm an experienced magic critic now, thanks to Great Tiger, and let me tell you something, <laughs> this is a classic case of teleportation. He even calls oh, the Mirage okay. Dance too. he was an inspiration! That leaves Hickey with four infractions. Mad Clown is uh, next, four, and not he bad. got Mad Clown. Bad until you get a load of this bad boy. From the bottom to the top, he swapped his wrestling boots for clown shoes, whereas overall Can't do he that. show a clear line of demarcation and cover the knees, and is wearing a shirt which, while not illegal in an amateur fight, would be in a world circuit. You can wear a which, shirt and... Yeah, I probably should have gotten Mac on for last time, fight. but his choice of tank top and not eye-melting blue and white t-shirt is what saved him there. The metal buckles and buttons on his overall as well are a major no-no. Also, metal, and I yeah. only realized this after the fight started, but his ham-shaped head is obscuring a bow tie. How cute! That's illegal. Then there's his face, and he's got two his, different types of face nose. covering. As we previously covered, you can't have face paint, and his is even and more noticeable than nose. Hickey's, given the fact that he is, indeed, a clown. But that red nose of his is in no way naturally occurring and is definitely way of <laughs> Imagine if that was punched, natural. Which I don't need to tell you hurts like hell. Now, as for his in ring actions, it's more of the standard cheats like going for an express ear clap, throwing the opponent out of a clinch, trying to chop the opponent with the side of your hand, all the fun of the fair. Then there's you a know. big one. He'll flip backwards into the air and then land on his knee. In boxing, taking a knee is considered that sounds down, down. And as yeah. be one step closer to a TKO. Then Correct. there's a small matter of him throwing balls at jo your face. Those <laughs> what? Those balls are what? absolutely not regulation. And add on to that, since they were regulation? by the rep, they could be filled with concrete for all we know. And he brought six of Good them into bomb. the ring. That's six different counts of a foreign weapon. And then there's the fact that he actually throws them. Remember, difference between intent to cheat and actually doing it. With yeah. all that, Clown comes what out to doing? 17 infractions, which puts him... 17? Just too shy of Aaron Ryan. And really, the that's only because of how many balls he brings into the ring. Pair them down to one, and he's only got 13. Still the best performance oh. thus far. Great job, Mad Clown. Who's Never come gonna back. Top this. Nurses Never come back. Next, and I almost want to dock him off the bat for being a literal drooling moron. The guy doesn't want people to punch him in the face, so became a boxer. Oh, I have the best legs in the world. That's why I work as a landmine what? tester. So from his attire, you can see a few problems. One being his Ivy League vest. Not only is such upper body wear illegal, but there's a second shirt underneath. Shirts are already hard to judge, but two shirts is definitely illegal. Next definitely. to those boxing trunks. Those bad boys need to be open and free. Too but these ones are practically skin tight. Then there are his boots, or rather the lack thereof. His shoe choice is for a fresh pair of sneakers, which, while stylish, doesn't cut it. However, outside of how he dresses, he actually manages to keep it clean in the ring. Tough. So good for you, Narciss. I put this mostly down to the fact that he's so young that he hasn't had a chance to figure out how best to cheat. Unlike our next competitor, Hoy Corlo. Oh. You thought Gabby J was over the hill? Hoy here is 78 years old. Gabby was only 56. Come on, double. If 40 is the age yeah. he should stop boxing at. Hoy has been going on 38 years past his sell-by date. On top of his age, his weight is extremely distressing. The man is only 100 pounds. That's Why really light. Fucking pick him up and toss him. Then there's yeah. his clothing. A big baggy shirt, long pants, and slippers means he's broken four rules already. I'm also, also a staff. His facial hair is way too long to be considered kosher. Then there's his fighting style. Which is using a longer. staff. Okay, so bringing a staff into the ring is ridiculous. He's not even trying to hide it. At least Aaron had the decency to hide his flail down his pants. So Hoy not somehow a staff hid that in his pants. You with, but he also throws kicks. Uh, but Can't do that. At least his punches are good, right? Wrong. No. The only punch he throws is this one, and this is not a punch. That's an this is open a hand. Palm strike, which you can't do. After that, he attempts to backhand you with a spin fist, which you can't do. Also, if jumping was illegal, he'd probably be worth about 10 Aaron Ryans. Despite how much people <laughs> swore by Hoy dwarfing Aaron, he only gets 11. Not even the highest score oh. in this game. Finally are the brothers huh. Bruiser, Rick and Nick. The most boring way to Rick finish on the Nick. game. Two bald-headed white guys. Oh boy, Rick Bruiser sure was a boring penultimate white. boss. I wonder what's next. Very tan. Ooh. So let's go over sharing the same thing. these actual palette swaps before getting into anything unique. First they off, despite earrings. being the two top-ranked boxers in the entire world, or 
the entire special, I guess, neither Rick nor Nick have a definitive place of origin or age. Seeing as King Hippo had the same problem, it's safe to assume that despite their prestigious position, they don't even have a proper boxing license. Going oh, the God. Fight, honestly, they Which both fight the bad. exact same, so the only main problem comes from them both using illegal elbows. Rick has both a jumping and grounding oh, they love version, to have earrings? while Nick only uses the jumping version. Not only is an elbow an illegal move, but a jumping attack is also illegal. All this time I said jumps are allowed, never including jump, jump attacks. attacks. That's yeah. the illegal part. So you can jump. Rick with two as he does the grounded and aerial forms, while Nick only gets one. But Rick still does have one trick left up his sleeve. He's wearing earrings. Yep. Just like Super Macho Man, he needs to take those out before he fights. And as such, lands him with four infractions to Brother Nick's two. For once, the little brother wins. And that rounds out Super Punch-Out. And with okay. that, the video's over, right? No. Except no. Who's no, left? No, it couldn't be over. Who's left? Of course, people were asking for Super Punch-Out. Oh, it's going to be Donkey Kong. Ten times as many people were asking about was for one King of Kongs. So let's bite the bullet. Let's Donkey talk Kong. about Donkey Kong. <laughs> How rough is this one going to be? How guilty. Okay, he's bringing bananas into the ring. Probably can't do that. Now, I know I've taken a also, stance on Donkey Kong. Remember Mike Tyson wanted to fight a silver back gorilla? Cartoon character for babies, and sure, I may have proof of that in the form of this cartoon for babies, but I'm first and foremost a man of the people. Hey, my first so banana a couple really months ago. Yeah. talk about him, by golly, it's my duty to do it. So let's start from the top. We all know where Donkey Kong lives. He lives on Congo Bongo, as the cartoon okay. explains. How's However, a group stage? that has no idea where he comes from is the WVBA, as they don't know his birthplace, weight, or height. That means no weigh-in and no boxing license. I yeah. also want to quell the rumors that this fight couldn't take place due to animal cruelty. Donkey Kong is an animal that can talk and think for himself, and it's to be oh, assumed well. that Donkey Kong gave consent. Donkey Kong gave consent. Yeah, we're doing this joke again. Yeah, we are, because he did it before. Because, what was it, the scroll gave Starting consent? Starting you might be tempted to say that these barrels and bananas count as outside objects, and you'd be wrong. These fall under the banner of entrance theatrics. If Deontay Wilder oh. would come out dressed as Rhinestone Skeletor for his fight with Tyson Fury, then Donkey Kong would roll out a barrel or two. He said that Before weighed him punch, down and made him leave for the fight when he lost. things to go over first. First things first, we can see that he has personal branding on his gloves and tie. Can't so do that. There's no clear line of demarcation between his waist and below the he's also naked. His boxing shorts. Next, his shorts don't extend above the knees. Also, he's not wearing boxing shorts. On top of that, he's not wearing any boots. The tie counts as an accessory. And seeing as we don't know where Donkey Kong comes from and that he's using personalized gloves, it can be assumed that the ref hasn't checked him and that he didn't wrap his fist properly. Donkey Kong is beating oh, most people okay. in the game without ever we throwing a that. punch. Good thing How? too, as all of his attacks are illegal. First off is his slam attack. All of them? An overhead club with the side of the glove, so that's two for that. The smile. His body clap, which since his gloves are the size of Little Mac, would result in an ear clap. That clap is also being done with the inside of his gloves. His jumping slam is a jump strike, which isn't allowed, and it doesn't take a genius oh, to see that his God. jumping pass is excessive and into unsportsmanlike. When he rolls on the ground, he's officially down since his knees make contact with the floor. I mean, that's and not like he throws an a massive backhand. Then in the corner, yeah, he's munching on a banana, which is illegal. You can't, can't eat do that. in the corner. Not that you'd want to, because imagine eating food, then going out to fight. You may also ask yeah, if kidnapping would that at the end of the fight counts as a rule break. Wait, Listen, once no? the bell rings, they can do whatever they want. You know, it's not my problem. No rules saying that Stolen. you don't own the loser. Overall, that leaves Donkey Kong with an unbelievable 19 infractions. And in a shocking upset, ties him with our current champion, Aaron Ryan. Wow, like Aaron Ryan's almost as bad as a gorilla. To an end, as it took a literal wild animal without an understanding of how to box to tie him. Ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't have seen it coming, but... That's how bad Aaron Ryan is. I told you that, as several people pointed out, Aaron has one last trick up his sleeve. In contender what? mode, if you lose against him, Ryan will headbutt the camera. Assuming that the camera is meant to be a WVBA cameraman, that means that Ryan will have destroyed WVBA property and has broken one more oh. rule, routing him up Jesus. to an even 20. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Ryan winner, is worse than a and monkey. Still, WVBA gorilla, cheaters whatever. champion, Aaron Ryan. All right, he is. Got a visual fire. Got a visual fire. All oh, the boxing. The boxing related to Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. You know, instead of ending one of these with a gag, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you. Everyone who watched the last one of these helped support it me through great. incredibly selfless donations and just made the impossible seem possible. You've impacted my life way in a way more. that I'd completely written off. I can only hope that my stupid video helps your day by making it just a little bit better by being funny. 
And all I can hope is that the rest of these are just as fun as this one. And to finish this one off, That's so wholesome. The first one, Sounds like me. With all these new rule breakers <laughs> on the scene, I think this redesign of Mac is a little outdated. Much better. With a gun. Love that. With two guns, actually. Give him a Glock. One's a Glock. The other one's fine. I really like that. And like I said, he barely has, like, he, I mean, he has like 10,000 or, I don't know how many subscribers he has. He has like 60,000. It's either 63 or 68,000. I'm not really sure. He deserves way more than that, though. Like, I'm actually upset <laughs> that he does not have more subscribers. Someone, I'm upset somebody else doesn't have more subscribers. He deserves way more. His videos are really good. Let me know what video you want me to react to next, whether it's a TF2 video or another Bumble McFumble video, because usually this is supposed to be the TF2 slot. So, but then I did the which uh, TF2 mercenary is the biggest war criminal, and everybody's like, try to punch out rule break rule breakers video. I was like, okay, and everybody loved that video, and everybody's asking for this video. So I don't really know what's gonna come next, but please let me know in the comment section. I read every single comment. You see one that you also agree with. Definitely like it because whatever is the most liked comment will probably be what the next video is going to be. So definitely like the comments down below. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope we made it just a little bit better, and I hope you're subscribed. Check out Dragon Ball Z Bridge with Kirby. That video just went live yesterday. I also have a PO box, so you can write me letters or make art or anything like that. Feel free to send it to me. It should be in the description if you want to send anything to my PO box. It's going to be awesome. I'll probably open up my camera. Unless you tell me not to open up my camera. But this is a really great video. I really hope you enjoyed it. But until next video, take care and cue the music. We were playing.